Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're checking out the Trania T40 pair of wireless earbuds. Before we get started though, thank you to Trania for providing these free of charge for the purposes of this review. And if you're interested in taking a look at these earbuds, I'll provide an Amazon link down below so you can check them out. In case I don't mention a feature that you're interested in, you can go ahead and check it out through the link. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the front of the box here has a picture of the earbuds, which we'll take a closer look at in just a second once I pull them out. But they are the T40s, and they feature a gaming mode, which I hope is a low latency mode when it comes to Bluetooth. And it has normal and bass boosted equalizers. On the back here, we do have a little more information about the earbuds. Some key takeaways is, of course, the 13mm driver, game mode, it has USB-C, of course, the double, uh, the dual EQs for that. And of course they have ear hooks. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. Inside the box we do have our little manual here. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I read through this. But this is just going to show you how to pair them, how to connect them and keep them clean and stuff like that. And support any questions you might have and where to contact them in case you do need support that isn't covered by this manual. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Inside we do have several ear tips here, the large, medium, and small, and then we have these other two right here. And I believe it comes pre-installed with the mediums. Further into the box we do have our cable here, which is a USB-C type charging cable. If my camera can focus on that, there we go. It is just a standard USB-C cable, which is very nice that they do have USB-C. I've seen a lot of headphones in the past still using micro USB, and it's nice that these are uh, USB-C. So let's go ahead and take out the earbuds. Now taking them out, they are in a little case here or with a little plastic here, but they, this is the case with the Trania logo there, trying to get that into focus. There we go, the Trania logo. And on the bottom side here, nothing there. On the back side, we do have our hinge with our USB-C charging port. And on the front here, we have four little lights that indicate how much battery charge. And taking a closer look inside of the box, we do have some regulatory information back there. I'm not going to get into too many details for that. But we do have the cradle here where the earbuds sit and the little charging contacts there, which are a little exposed compared to other earbuds that I've seen, but that's okay. And then we do have our left and right indicators. And here we have the earbuds. They just fit in like so. They only go in one way, so you can't really mess this up. But watch me mess it up right now. And there we go, we got them sitting in their case, and you can see the charging lights there. Each one indicates a percentage of the charge. All four is 100, 75% for three, 50% for two, and 25% or less for the last one. But that's what the earbuds look like sitting in their case. Let's take a closer look at them in uh, closer detail. Now we do have uh, several mics here, and you can already see the little light down here. It's trying to connect to some Bluetooth. But we do have the Trania logo there, and it is a button. It's a physical button, it's not touch control, which I think is very nice because sometimes you're trying to adjust them and the touch interface uh, confuses your touch with input when you're just trying to fix them. On the bottom here we do have volume up and down buttons, which is very nice. And they do come with a medium size, soft, clear, translucent ear tips. And of course it does come with uh, several other ones in the box here, including some solid ones. I'm not sure what the difference is, I'll try the small solid ones and the small light ones just to see, but I'm thinking it has to do with how comfortable they fit in your ears since these are sports earbuds. But here we have the little ear hook and it is flexible, it is malleable, but it does not sit into place or conform to any shape, which is fine. But overall I'm pretty impressed with the way these earbuds look. I'll have to try them out for the next couple of days and then I'll get back to you with my final review. But so far I'm impressed with the quality of these earbuds. They feel very nice in the hands, they, they don't feel cheap at all. And I like the charging case. It feels very nice and it's a nice home for your earbuds. I remember seeing a reviewer online say that it's very important that the earbuds have a nice place to live because this is their home. And you probably know what YouTuber I'm talking about. I'm a very big fan of them. But this is their home. This is where they're going to live. It has to be sturdy. It has to be protective of your earbuds so that they stay safe whenever you have them in transport and overall this is a very solid feeling case it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that so i'm very impressed by that now before we actually get into the review portion i did overlook uh, showing you how to connect these up to bluetooth or via bluetooth to your phone it's the only way to connect them there's no wires or anything like that but if you've connected earbuds in the past to your phone you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but if it's the first time doing this, this is actually why I do it. 
but I'm going to be using my LG G8 here, which is where I have all my music, but it should be the same for uh, iPhones and other Android devices, non-LG. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure my Bluetooth is turned on. I accidentally touched on an item on here and it's trying to connect, but make sure you have your Bluetooth turned on and then your earbuds, we're just going to go ahead and pull them out of the case. Set them aside here. And uh, in my case, my Bluetooth devices, I actually have to hit a refresh button up at the top. But scrolling down, we should see them down here, Trania T40s. And all we're going to do is just tap. It's going to ask us if we want to pair. And all we do is go ahead and hit pair. And there we go. That's, that's all you have to really worry about. And we do have a little battery indicator there, which is telling us that our headphones are 90% charged. That's actually a very nice thing that they include that sort of stuff. But uh, up next, we have our final review and thoughts. So I'll see you then. So I've been using these earbuds for the last week and I've been able to gather my thoughts and ideas as to what I think about these earbuds and towards the end of the video I'll let you know whether or not I recommend them. I am going to be covering a couple of things here in this final part of the review and that is the first is battery life, the second is overall fit, feel, and build quality of the earbuds. And the third is sound quality, and then we'll get to whether or not I recommend them. So starting off with the battery life, I did get the advertised amount of battery life for continuous usage of about eight hours. And the way I measure that is I use them for about an hour or two hours or however much and I measure it. And when I stop, I keep track, I turn them off and I set them aside without putting them back in their case. And then when I come back to try them again, I continue the timer and I did get about eight hours worth of battery life, which is fantastic for a pair of earbuds like this. It'll get you through your day. And of course, you're not going to be listening continuously to music all day. But if you do, eight hours is perfectly fine. And it does extend it to 40 hours with a charging case. So in case you're not using them, you're going to put them in your case again. And it's going to boost them up to eight hours again if you do get them fully charged. Moving on to the overall fit, feel, and comfort, as well as build quality for the earbuds. When it comes to fit, feel, and comfort, they are very comfortable in the ears. The parts that are really flexible here are rubber, so they're not really going to be uh, hurting in anything like that or causing any sort of discomfort. It would have been nice to see these be more uh, moldable so that they mold to your ears and you can have them molded to whatever type of ear you have because everybody's different. But overall, they're comfortable earbuds and most people would be turned away by the fact that these are uh, in-ear earbuds. Most people that I've talked to say they don't like them because they don't like the feeling of having something in your ear. That's something to take into consideration, but in all honesty, I think you should just give them a try because they do provide some sort of noise isolation. It's not necessarily noise canceling like you would see on like AirPod Pros, but passive noise canceling is still better than no noise canceling at all. So overall, they're comfortable. They do come with two sets of ear tips, as I showed you in the unboxing, the more translucent ones, and then you have solid black ones. I read through the manual, and these are the base boost ear tips. I'm not sure, I didn't really pick up any sort of difference besides just a tiny bit of base, but these are a little more comfortable than the solid ones because these are more flexible and they're lighter. So these are the ones that I'll be keeping on here. But overall, they are a comfortable pair of earbuds and the case itself, even though it's a little bigger, it honestly doesn't feel like it takes up too much space inside my pocket. And if it does, it doesn't take any more space than my phone already does. So it's a very comfortable feeling case. It's not hard cornered or anything like that. And the headphones or the earbuds feel very nice and in my ears and they don't cause any sort of discomfort. And I do love that they have a button instead of touch interfaces because when I do put them on and try to fit them into place, uh, touching that is going to cause stuff to happen if it's a touch surface, but in this case it's a button, so it's not really going to be doing much anyway. So, And the last thing I'll be talking about is sound quality, and this is actually one of the very few pair of earbuds where it actually gets a good rating on all three things that I mentioned. The sound quality out of these earbuds is fantastic considering the price point. It's got a nice punchy sound, but it's not too flat or it's not too bassy or it's not too much mids. It's a perfect sound quality right out of the box. And out of the box, they did come with the bass booster activated. 
So you may want to turn that off or just give it a try, see if it's sort of your thing. I listen to my music with a normal preset throughout my listening sessions, just so I can get a natural sense of what these earbuds really have to offer. But turning up the bass is something that I like to do with my rock music or any hip hop that I'm listening to. So it, it all depends on the music. So it's nice that I can turn it either on or off. And it does have another mode, which is gaming mode. And it's low latency gaming mode so it's going to provide as closer uh, to a wired headphone experience as possible but one thing i did notice i don't know if it was just, just my earbuds or anything like that but i did notice like the volume dips it doesn't really go down all the way it just like sort of dips but i didn't really notice any sort of input lag with it on or with it off so i just kept it off so that i wouldn't have to deal with that i did get some gaming sessions in with call of duty mobile and it did just fine so Overall, would I recommend these earbuds? I recommend them 100%. Yes, if you're looking for a pair of earbuds that looks like this, or sports earbuds that'll stay in your ears, they're comfortable, provide flexible sound, uh, are very inexpensive considering the price point of other earbuds like this, I'd say go right ahead and give them a try. You got nothing to lose, and honestly, I've been very impressed with the overall quality of not just these earbuds just train your products in general most everything that they make is really high quality at a very affordable price so if this isn't your thing perhaps maybe check out their Trania store I'll link it down below and check out any of their earbuds let me know which ones you're thinking about I've tried mostly all of them and they all blow me away and impressed me a lot so if you have any questions comments or concerns about this product or any other product let me know down in the comments section below and I'll try to get to you as best I can and with that being said, thank you to Trania for providing these free of charge for the purposes of this review. And thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.